That's good. Let's look at number three. So it says, which species is diamagnetic? And it says, uh, so I'm looking at diamagnetic. And I have here, this is chromium 2 plus. I have B is zinc, C is manganese, and D is carbon. So it's talking about which uh, which species is diamagnetic. So when we're talking about this concept of being uh, diamagnetic, diamagnetic, we have to talk about this topic of electron configuration, right? So this topic of electron configuration, again, comes back in terms of uh, where are the electrons? How do we know if it's diamagnetic or not? So let's look at, uh, let's look at, let's basically let's draw out our electron configuration for all of these guys here to see whether or not they're um, they are uh, they are they contain this uh, diamagnetic property here. <laughs> so take a moment, maybe take a moment to think about what what the uh, what the, um, the the electron configuration is. I'm going to write it down here as well. So I'll bring up the periodic table for you to find out. Again, we're starting with chromium two plus here. Just take a moment to think about this problem here. <clears throat> So again, we're thinking of, about um, we're thinking about the electron configurations first, and then what we can do is we can uh, we can talk about um, uh, di which species are indeed diamagnetic. Okay, so let's look at the electron configuration for chromium. So when we talk about the electron configuration of chromium, I would have to define chromium on the periodic table, right? So this here is chromium, and I have to figure out the electron configuration. So I can say that before then I have, so it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and this is 4s2, and this would be 4 or 3d, 3d something, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. 3d4 here would be just the, um, would just be the, uh, the, um, the, the chromium, uh, uh, chromium as an element. So let me just write down this. This is 4s2, 3d4 would be just for chromium. However, I have a charge of 2 plus, right? So I'm losing two electrons from uh, from 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 chromium here so in this case um, this would be I would have to subtract two electrons to make a two plus charge right so I would have it, this would be now 3d2 3d2 now is this is this is this a diagmatic magnetic series in this case it's not it's not diamagnetic and then in this case this is paramagnetic and the reason why is because uh, this 3d 3d shell 3d shell is not filled therefore it's paramagnetic and not diamagnetic for for it to be diamagnetic i need my uh, that orbital orbitals need to be filled so let's look at uh zinc here so zinc here is this guy here so this would be uh, 4s2 and then 3d1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 3d 10 right so let me do this let me draw the electron configuration here this is 4s2 3d 10 and again in this case the 3d shell is filled right it has 10 electrons in my 3d 10 here so in this case this uh this zinc here is diamagnetic right the 3d shell is filled i have 10 electrons in the shell here which is great Let's look at manganese to verify our answer. Manganese is here. Again, it's 4s2, 4, 1, 2, 4s2, 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is 3d5, right? So I have, this is 4s2, 3d5. Again, this is only half filled. So in this case, because it's half filled, it's not, um, it's not, uh, again, it's not uh, diamagnetic. It's only um, uh, paramagnetic, paramagnetic. Can't say that word. 3d shell, 3d shell. 
is not filled or it's only half filled in this case. 3G shell is half filled. And finally, carbon, if I look at the electron configuration of 1s2, again, 2s2 here, and then 2p2 here, right? 2p2. So this would be 2s2, 2p2. And again, this here, the 2p shell is not filled. Therefore, it's not diamagnetic, which means B here is our correct answer. <clears throat> so let's look at the solution here. Uh, we're de determining the diamagnetic series. So the answer is B, that's good. B zinc here, so a species containing one or more unpaired number of electrons is to be paramagnetic, right? So these are not filled, that's good. Uh, and the species com only containing paired electrons only is to be diamagnetic. So di is again two, magnetic is just magnetic, right? So again, it has a, it, all the electrons are paired in this case, um, and it's, fully, it's filled in terms of the shell. So uh, let's see, chromium is electron configuration, uh, is something here. So they're missing the electron con electron configuration. It has four unpaired electrons, right? That's good. Because if you draw out the 3D 3D 10 shell here, you realize that I have one, two, three, four, and five. And we have two shells that are being filled here, right? So this here, the shell is not filled. That's good. So I have four unpaired electrons that are not filled. That's good. Uh, this is a paramagnetic, para paramagnetic species. That's good. Zinc here is 3D10, so it is diamagnetic. Manganese is half filled, five unpaired electrons, that's good. And finally, carbon here has two unpaired, right? So again, carbon has a 2P6 orbital, this is 2P, and we have one and two, right? So again, I only have two electrons here, so therefore I have two unpaired electrons. I have two unpaired electrons in this case. So therefore it's a paramagnetic species. So in this case, this solution is correct. Solution is correct. However, they are they are they are missing the electron the electron configuration electron configuration of the elements here. So let me write this down. This is Cr2 plus base. I'm gonna use a shorthand here. So this is simply just 4s2. Or let me, let me I'll actually use the uh, shorthand here. So this is uh, argon here. Argon. So it's argon first, and then it's uh, 4s2. So argon is this. And it's 4s2 and then 3d2 so therefore uh, paramagnetic this is zn this is zinc zinc here would give me again argon i have 4s2 this is 3d10 therefore it is indeed di diamagnetic diamagnetic manganese has it's again 4s2 so i can say argon again this here is then 4s2 and 3d5. Sorry, 3d5. Therefore, paramagnetic. And then finally, carbon here has a 2s2 here, which is simply just uh, 2s2 would be uh, uh, helium here. So this is, I guess I could write, write out 1s2. 1s2, 2s2. This is 2p, 2p2, right? 2p2 would be our our, uh, our last orbital here. That's good. Therefore, this would be paramagnetic. So therefore, the only answer in this case is zinc because it has a 3D shell that is filled, right? Because 3D, 3D orbital, orbital is filled. Sweet, so the solution is correct. We're just missing the uh, electron configuration. The solution is correct. Sweet. Uh